go. Welcome, welcome. Welcome everybody to our Elevate Your Skills call the first Tuesday of the month. My name is Heidi Phillips. I'm an international marketing director with Juice Plus and I've been with the company quite some time, but um, only more recently as an NMD. Um, and I've gotten together with, with some other NMDs and we are bringing you these Elevate Your Skills calls the first Tuesday of every month and Elevate Your Wellness the last Tuesday of every month. So thank you so much for joining us. You're going to love hearing from Alexis. She is a dynamo um, with training and um, I've heard from her before and I'm so glad she's having slides tonight because I couldn't write fast enough. She did this training for us or a version of it. Um, so let me introduce Alexis and let's get her, let her get started with all the information that she's going to share. Alexis is a wife and a mom to four young kids, nine, six, four, and two, and another one on the way. She homeschools while running a successful Juice Plus business, so she has her hands full. She's been consuming Juice Plus for the last 23 years. She started off as a child on the Healthy, Start, Healthy Families program, Healthy Starts for Families, and six years ago, she decided to jump to start her business. It was a quick 18 months to national marketing director, but as we know, this business can be a roller coaster, and she'll be sharing a little bit about the highs, the lows, and what it took to rebuild a powerhouse team, which she has been doing with healthcare professionals and many, many events. So welcome, Alexis, and thank you so much for being willing to do this for us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that introduction, Heidi. I'm excited to be with you guys all tonight and just share with you a little bit about what my business has looked like and specifically what those conversations look like for medical professionals, because we all are talking to medical professionals that we have and trying to find the right words to say when we want to tell them about Juice Plus can sometimes be difficult. So before we get into that, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys a little bit more um, about my story. As Heidi had said, I was a child on the health study. So you never know who those kids that are right now that are getting free juice plus that someday might join your business. Um, I was not looking for a business when this came in. I was working a great corporate job, um, but I just wasn't 100% sure that it was where I wanted to stay. I had had two kids at home, and if any of you guys are moms, you know that you get really spread thin when you are working and you're home with your kids. Um, and so when the Juice Plus business came up, I was not a for sure yes the first time. I'm sure many of you on the call can relate to that. Um, but I kept thinking about the fact that the company offered full medical benefits, and that was really attractive to me. So I want to start there because that's something that's really unique about our business. So if you didn't know that, our company offers full medical benefits for field leaders when they reach um, certain positions of leadership. Um, and I love that. To me, that made this feel like it could be a real job. Um, and I think so many other people are really attracted to that as well. And it makes us very different than so many other companies out there. So I'd say that was my first tip is always remember that that's one of the things that makes us unique. So when the timing was right, I did say yes to trying this business and I fell in love with it. I loved hearing the impact that our products were having on people's health. And one of the first people that I wanted to tell was our chiropractor. She was our family's chiropractor the last five years. She worked specifically with moms, with babies, with pregnant women. And I just remember feeling like she could impact so many more people if she was willing to tell them about Juice Plus. And so um, tonight I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit about those conversations with medical professionals. So we're gonna kind of start with hers. Um, so the first thing, um, having the conversation, she was like, I got a lot going on, I'm not interested. Maybe some of you have had conversations with professionals and they've kind of said those things to you as well. Um, and I really was excited about the research. Um, that was something I didn't really know a lot about as a Juice Plus kid growing up on the products. I knew there was research, but I didn't understand it. But I remember talking with her about that and being willing to share some of the resources that we had about the research and asked her if she'd be willing to, to look at that. And it was the research that made her consider having a further conversation with me and learning more about what this product and this business could possibly offer for her. 
And so um, that's kind of where, where we first started. She became a customer and we signed up her office. Um, if you don't know anything about our Wellness Plus program, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about that tonight. There's some great resources on boards and I know that your upline national marketing director can also direct you to some places where you can find presentations specifically about the Wellness Plus program. Um, but that was something that I was really interested in and sharing with her. And I remember being on the phone with my national marketing director, Carolyn Swander, on the way to her office as a brand new partner myself, trying to learn how this program works so that I could share a little bit with her about it. Um, and I'm going to share a little bit more about kind of what are the high points to hit on with that. Um, but really the basics are that we as a company offer a program specifically for medical professionals that allows them to be able to still run their practice, but yet share the Juice Plus products and be compensated for them. And so I always want to tell you guys, if you just start off really basic, just knowing that that's a great place. Um, it doesn't have to be a ton of information. You can always ask for help or bring somebody in on that next appointment or that next meeting to answer more of those questions or follow up with an email to answer more of that. But that's a really great starting place. Um, and she ended up being one of my first partners to make it into leadership. So it was super exciting. I can tell you as a young mom herself, she was also really attracted to the benefits package that the Juice Plus company offered. She owned her own business and she saw this as an opportunity to create income in her office where she could provide more flexibility. So she had doulas, she had a midwife, she had some people who did some different events there, maybe rented some office space, but her number one income producing item or product or business model that came in through the office outside of her chiropractic was Juice Plus. And so this really was an option for their family and they loved it. So with that being said, I'm gonna jump into some of the slides that I have, because I have some verbiage for you guys. All right, let me see, where's my play button? There we go. Okay, so growing your confidence with medical professionals is kind of what I wanna to touch on. And if you guys just wanna jot down any questions you have, I'm definitely gonna leave time at the end to answer some of those. So first of all, connecting with medical professionals. So building relationships with your existing providers. Think about your chiropractors, your dentists, your family doctors. Any of you on this call have medical professionals that you're currently working with, I am sure. Our family has really sought out professionals that have the same values that we have. And so when I typically bring up Juice Plus or nutrition or research, they're interested. So think about who you're currently working with for your family and think about maybe they could be someone who might also be interested in Juice Plus. You wanna drip on them through multiple exposures. So how are you mentioning Juice Plus? A really great place is when you fill out that intake form, you can put Juice Plus on there. I can't tell you how many times I've written Juice Plus when it talks about nutrition or things like that, and they'll ask me about it. Um, so that's a really great place to start or mentioning it in the office. So um, dripping through multiple exposures. Um, medical professionals are really busy. And so always keep that in mind that whenever you're talking with them, if you want to talk about Juice Plus, keep it short and sweet because we want to make sure that we're always respectful of their time. Um, be proud of representing our company. So wear a Juice Plus shirt, wear a Juice Plus hat. Can't tell you how many times someone has asked me in an office, what's Juice Plus? Because I had a shirt on when I was there. Um, so think about that. And I always keep samples in my purse, in my diaper bag, in my car, all the places so that I can always feel like I have those to pull them out if I were to need them or want them. Um, and then the last one there is be prepared to share one or two lines about our products or our business if the opportunity comes up. Not a 10 minute presentation. Because when someone asks us about Juice Plus, that's what we wanna do, right? We wanna just tell them all the things, um, our story and the research and our new product and our health study, and we just wanna tell them all the things at once. So whenever I go into an office, I always just think about like, if they were to ask me about Juice Plus, or if there was an opportunity to say something, what would I tell them? So I always try to brainstorm on that first um, so that I have something kind of in my back pocket if the opportunity comes up. So this is the best 
question that you can ask a medical professional. And this is goes, if you have professionals that you're seeing now, or if you know you have new ones that you're working with, an easy question is, have you heard of Juice Plus before? It's my favorite question to ask them. It's super, it's uh, super easy. Um, I also love to ask this to prospects. So people who message me on social media and inquire, it's always a really easy question to ask. So the answer is either gonna be yes or no. So what is your response? If they say no, they haven't heard about it before. So if they say no, again, this can be, you can vary and this can change, but it's fruits and vegetables in a capsule or a chewable. It's been published in over 40 medical journals and it's free for kids. Our family has loved it because, let me say one reason why your family's liked it. And I can drop off some information at your front desk later this week for you. So I will tell you in my experience, most medical professionals don't say no. Most of them have heard of it. Um, they might not know what it is. They might not know how it's different than the supplements or vitamins they're currently carrying, but typically they're not gonna say no when you ask them that question. Typically they say yes. So this is really where you need to pay attention because this is gonna be the thing that you're gonna say next to them when they say yes. You are gonna say, did you know they have a program specifically designed for medical professionals. And then you're gonna be quiet. And you're just gonna let them tell you that they didn't know that because nobody knows that. Um, even if they know about Juice Plus, they don't know that we have that program. And that sets us apart immediately and immediately makes them think, wow, that's interesting. Like no other company has that opportunity. Um, so that's a really simple, easy, um, answer or question that you can ask um, when you're asking them about Juice Plus. Um, and so are asking them and they say they know what Juice Plus is. You don't have to go into all the details because they probably really don't know all the things you know about it. Um, you just want to know, you just want to let them know that we have this program because our goal is always to be able to get an appointment where we can really have a discussion about this. It's probably not during your like 15 minute window where you're there for something else. Um, your goal is really to have a chance to talk with them um, outside of that time. So hopefully you'll be able to kind of secure that, um, you know, kind of with this as a discussion, or this is a moment where you're dripping on them. Maybe this is the very first time that has ever even came up when you've been there. This is a chance for you to kind of start that conversation and, and start that first drip. So what about resources? Um, what are you dropping off if they're like, I'd love more information. Like, what are you going to give them? Um, so first of all, you can do samples with your contact information. Um, I have these cute little um, mesh bags. You can buy them on Amazon and you can put shakes in them. You can put gummy samples in there. You can slide a business card. They're even like the ones I get are, I think they're six by nine size. You can even put like a little four by six. Um, if you have any like marketing pieces, like the little luminate cards would fit in there. Um, but samples are a really great option. Um, the research summary is phenomenal. You guys, I have a screenshot of it here on the side. It's front and back two pages. Um, this is one of my favorite things. It has a really great summary of all the different research articles and it's on the hub. You can print it off. Um, I actually had some printed at FedEx um, just so they'd be like a little bit higher quality paper. And this is one of my favorite things to be able to share. Um, I also like to share this with new partners that I bring in just because it's really simple and easy. It's not the whole book they have to flip through. It isn't, um, you know, website where they're trying to click through. This is just a really good summary. Great place for medical professionals to start looking. Um, you could also bring them by a flyer or invite them to your next event or Zoom event with a medical professional because we are not the expert, right guys? How hard is it to answer questions from a medical professional um, when you yourself are not a medical professional nor an expert in research or anything like that? So a really great option is getting them to an event where you can help bring some help in to help, kind of help that conversation along or get them on a call where they have a chance to hear from a medical professional, maybe even someone in their field um, is really even great. And our company is constantly having different calls and opportunities um, where different things are coming up or we have all of our reportings um, that would also be some good options. So um, some different resources there that you can kind of think about what is the best fit um, to, be, to be bringing and sharing with them. 
So how, um, how do you serve them before they're your, your customers or your partners? How do you serve them after? So a lunch and learn is a really great option, depending on what their staff looks like. Like at our chiropractor's office, it's the, assi the office eight assistant and the chiropractor. So that probably wouldn't be the best office to be like, let's do a lunch and learn because it's really just the two of them. But a lunch and learn was a great option at my children's pediatric dentist. They had 15 hygienists on staff plus two or three dentists. And we picked a day to do a lunch and learn where they were all in attendance. And we were able to provide them a healthy lunch and share with them about the Juice Plus products. And each one of them went home with a little goodie bag. Um, we even got a couple orders and a partner out of that. Um, so you just never know kind of what that looks like, but think about what is their structure of their office. Um, events that add value to their patients. Um, so again, this is gonna be dependent on their office. That first chiropractor that I told you about that became a, one of my leaders on my team, she served pregnant moms, children, she served pediatrics. So we offered to do events at her office that would bring people in that maybe were not her current patients, that were moms of young children. And so they got that exposure to chiropractic care while they got the exposure to Juice Plus by being there at the office. So think about different events like that. Um, and that might be even something that your medical professionals are open to, even if they're maybe not a Juice Plus customer or partner yet. Um, I've definitely had a few on our team who are open to having us come into their office because they know we're going to bring people with us that are going to gain that exposure. Um, so providing exposure for their practice or events, which I just covered. Um, and then down there at the bottom is utilizing the Wellness Plus program. So we talked just a little bit about that at the beginning. And again, I'm not going to go into just a ton of detail on what that program is and how it works but it's an amazing, amazing program, you guys. Um, we really love for when somebody does decide to become a Wellness Plus participant that we provide their office with um, some kind of flyer or um, postcard or just something where they can display that has a QR code where they can scan and submit their information. And I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot of what that looks like on this next one. Um, but it, it has been a really great tool for us to use. And my downline partners, when they create these, um, these Google forms, they add my email because they work, most of my girls work full time. And so most likely I'm gonna get their email that before they're gonna get the email. And so I have them add my email on there. So you can add multiple emails to get notified. Um, so you can provide some display materials for their office. Honestly, you guys, there's so many great things in the hub that I didn't even know about until Dewana and I had a one-on-one -on -one meeting recently. And she was like, Alexis, have you seen all the things in the hub? So I'm going to encourage you guys to go there, to look there. Um, and if you don't see anything that you, you know would be a good fit, talk with your upline, your, your upline sponsor, your upline NMD. I bet they have something for professionals that they have used before. Um, and then continue to serve them after they've said yes to Juice Plus as a customer or as a partner. It's so easy for us to get swamped and all the things and busy. Um, make sure that you are continuing to love on them and educate them. I actually went to the dentist this morning with my kids um, and she's one of our Juice Plus partners. And I brought her a Luminate sample. I knew, I knew she was off. That dentist would not be in the office that day, the one that I primarily work with. But I knew that if I left the Luminate sample on her desk, I wouldn't even have to leave my name or anything because I, I know that she would know that it's from me. And I know that when she gets in the office tomorrow, she's gonna text me and she's gonna thank me for it. Um, so just always kind of thinking about things like that um, to continue building those relationships and um, you know, continuing to develop you know, what could be, because you do wanna still be able to get in there, do events, things like that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this form looks like. Um, these are really easy to be able to make, especially once you make one, you can duplicate it. Um, but it's really basic. Again, they scan it from their phone. Most of us know how to scan a QR code now, um, but it's going to ask them for the basic information, their name, their email, their phone number. Those are the things we really need to build a cart. 
And then it's going to ask them about areas of interest. So on this one, you see gut health and digestion, nutrition and physical activity, children's health, chronic disease, weight loss, free community meal preps. You guys, people will check box these if you give them options. Um, so those are just some suggestions, but you can really put anything. And then it has some information about the fact that Juice Plus offers free product for kids. And it can be a child, a grandchild, a niece, a nephew. And then it just says, if yes, feel free to add their names and birthdays and in the information below. So then you have something that you can talk with them about. And so when I get one of these forms from a medical professional's office and I can reach out and text this person or call them right away and introduce myself, I already have some really great information that they've provided me on their form, some, some talking points. You know, if they want information about chronic disease, about cardiovascular health, how many great videos and medical professional resources do we have and medical journals that talk about that? Um, so anyways, this is a really great way that you can kind of collect that information um, from the office. And occasionally I will say, you will have offices or doctors who don't want to participate in the Wellness Plus program, or maybe they don't want to participate in being a partner, but they do like our products and they want to use you as a resource, as a referral. And so this is a great option too, because you want to be able to capture that information from their patients that they're referring. And so you can use a QR code to have them scan and be able to get that information to them. So... Those are all my slides that I have for you guys. I tried to keep the slides short and sweet and um, hit on some of that verbiage that could be helpful. I know that this is recorded. So if there was anything I said where I went too fast <laughs> through that, um, hopefully you can go back and kind of catch that again. But really the most important thing I feel like is just keeping it simple and basic and not trying to say all the things that we really always want to tell them is really trying to get that appointment um, set later on. So I'm gonna pause here. I can share a little bit more about kind of what our team is doing and the successes we've had. Um, but I'm gonna pause here and ask Heidi if there's anything that she wants me to kind of touch on with medical professionals before I share anything else. I think you did a great job with that. I think nobody has any specific questions um, for you on what you just shared. I just was gonna ask you to share what you're doing with your team. I know you do a lot of events and I was just gonna ask you to share about that. Okay, and there's a couple then, questions in the chat. So what kind of foods do we provide at Lunch and Learn? So um, soup and salad are really easy ones. You can even do like sandwich tray. Um, it got really just kind of depends on like how many people I feel like they're gonna have. Um, and then as far as what does that look like? You guys, it's kind of an event. It, it can look different depending on you know, where you're at, the room you're in. Ideally, you have a screen. How great would it be if you go to do a lunch and learn and there's a screen and you can plug in and show a video, um, but maybe you don't have a screen um, and maybe you're just gonna have to share a little bit of information. Um, a really great thing is to think about some questions to engage them um, and how can you really get them to kind of start thinking about, um, you know, how many fruits and vegetables they ate that day. You can have them write down. Sometimes I'll pass out a piece of paper when they come in and let them know, no one's gonna see this paper except for them, but I'm gonna ask them a question that I want them to answer. Um, so write down how many different fruits and vegetables you ate in the last 24 hours. Um, and then once you're done, I want you to, you know, write how many that is, circle that number and flip your paper over because we're going to come back to that at the end. Um, and so we'll kind of go through that just so it is a little bit more interactive. It helps them to see, you know, how many fruits and vegetables they're eating. Um, you can provide samples so they can taste them. Um, if you have a smooth, if you have access to like a blender um, and you can make some smoothies, that's great. Um, personally, I always feel like that's, that's too much for me. I'm like, I'm usually overwhelmed by that. Um, and I just really try to keep it simple. Um, but goodie bags are a really great option. Um, so then you can send them home with something, especially those ones who have kids, um, and then collect their information from them. So like with a sign in sheet, um, name, email, phone number, and then do you have children between the ages of four and 25? Yes or no on that, on that sign in sheet. So you can, again, can collect that information and follow up with them. Um, do you find that the medical professional needs to endorse Juice Plus? Yes. 
if the medical professional in the office is not consuming Juice Plus, they're not going to tell people about it. They aren't. If they forget every day and they delay their shipments, they're not telling people about it either. I guarantee it. Also, I've had medical professionals who really, really love Juice Plus and none of their staff is as any interest and they're only one person. And if they're like maybe the dentist or the main doctor that's going through all the offices, it's really hard for them to share Juice Plus when they're doing everything else. So it's important to get the staff on board, get someone at the office taking Juice Plus, sharing it within the staff and the patients. So keep that in mind as well. Um, Ideally, it's not just the medical professional. They're a good starting place, but hopefully you can get that the rest of the office on board as well. Um, so I'm just going to share real briefly so we have time for some questions. Um, some of the things that our team is doing to create success. So events. I built my business to NMD in 18 months through events. I am a big believer that in-person events are important. And I will tell you, I have a lot of partners on my team. And month after month, when I run numbers, the people who put in the most orders are the people who had the most events that month. Um, I see it time and time again, the people who have the most promotions the people who had the most events. Um, and so I really encourage my team to consider that as an option. Um, some of you may have heard Jenna Juke as um, a main stage speaker in Charlotte with me, or maybe as a pajama regional speaker. Um, she started her business one year ago. She made it to sales coordinator in 30 days through social media, which I am not an expert in you guys. Um, and I just told her like, that's amazing and great. And I commend you, but social media is not gonna duplicate as well as we would really like it to. Um, and I told her, I said, if you're open, like I will teach you how to do events and I can take you to national marketing director, that route, that's the only route I know, but I can take you there through doing events. And she said she was open to that. And she built her business to qualify national marketing director in one year. And so um, she is really duplicating her team and they're doing that through doing in-person events because you can bring in even the newest partner and they're capable of inviting to that and um, you know, learning how to share our products, um, asking those basic questions. You know, Do you have kids? Do you eat seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables? Um, those sorts of things. So I'm gonna pause here to answer questions. I know we're coming up on time. You had a question. If you find someone in the doctor's office interested in Juice Plus, can they be the wellness coordinator? Okay, that's a great question. Yes, they can, but I don't rec recommend that at first because I guarantee you, you know more than that person knows about Juice Plus. And what I always say is, I love that you're interested in this position. I am absolutely excited to be able to train you. Um, but for the first six months or so, I'm going to start off in this role just so I can get to know your patients, your staff, and I can serve you really, really well. And then I'm happy to transition this position over to this staff member who could do a really great job. Um, it just can be really hard if that person is brand new because are they taking their Juice Plus? Do they know how much Juice Plus they're taking? Do they know the right questions to ask? Do they know about being a partner? If you have somebody with a really big order, do they know how to approach that person? Um, the answer to that is no, if they just started Juice Plus. Um, but if they've been on it for a little bit and you feel confident um, as the leader that you could you know, train them to be the wellness coordinator, that's really the ideal situation. Um, you can, you can only manage so much, you guys. I can promise you that. You can't be wellness coordinator for all the medical professionals in your life. Um, so mm -hmm. finding someone else is, is able to do. So um, what if your chiropractor is recommending another supplement? So that's a good question. And most chiropractors do recommend supplements. I also find that my chiropractors have supplements available in their office, but they also have Juice Plus. They don't have to stock Juice Plus like they have to stock their other supplements. They don't have to deal with the inventory aspect and the costs associated with that. And Juice Plus is something they can recommend for every single one of their patients from six months old to the elderly. The supplements that they have on the shelf are going to be really specific and kind of be narrowing down on different things. Um, so a lot of times they really like Juice Plus for those reasons. On the professional support program, do you do A or B? I believe it's B. We, I always recommend that my team does the one where it's split 50-50 
or on a sales profit um, the entire time, not just the first few shipments. And that is because that person who's the wellness coordinator is going to be serving that office long term. It's not just going to be on the first or shipment or two. They're going to be serving that office forever, as long as they're in that role of wellness coordinator. So um, look at those sheets. I do believe it's the B one though, and that's the one that I always recommend that our team does. Thank you, Alexis. I don't see any more questions. If you guys have any more, please pop them in the chat really quickly. I know we are, we've run out of time. I know I started the call a couple minutes late. Um, let's, I just wanted you to share what are your events that you're doing right now that you have found that are fun for your team that are really okay. zipping along? <laughs> fun for our team. Um, so my very favorite, I will tell you, is like a wine wellness. Super basic. You know, you show up, you bring snacks, you bring wine, and you talk about Juice Plus, and people order Juice Plus. I call them the sign them up events. People come, and they're signing up. Um, that is my absolute favorite when someone asks me what we want to do. Um, if you are bringing somebody new into our community, meal preps are great. We love salad in a jar. That's a super easy, basic one um, that you can do. And um, power bowls, anything like that, where it's just everybody brings a couple ingredients and you guys show up. You're just to make sure you have a talk about these plots be prepping bowls the whole time and everyone's like all right see you, i'm out of here and hope that they saw the juice plus on your counter and they're going to call you and want to order it doesn't work like that you have to share stories you have to share information about our products so that's another good option um and then we try to do some like different and unique things things where moms can bring their kids and they can be involved um you know we could do like our facials the the um, omega mask and we did that one for valentine's and we did a mom and daughter um, like a Galentine's event, like bring your daughter and we're going to do something, you know, special with them. Um, do I have a script for wine and wellness? I use the slides on the freedom revolution, the old school slides. Um, I know you guys know, are going to know what I'm talking about, but it is the, um, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, ways that we can be healthier today, that getting enough sleep, eating enough fruits and vegetables, um, you know, drinking enough water, it lists the things. And we're going to focus on eating fruits and vegetables. Did you know most of our produce is traveling thousands of miles? This is the difference between food and supplement. This is what makes Juice Plus unique, those basic slides. Um, that's what I've used since I started my business. I find that it's simple. It's easy. The script is on the bottom of those. So even the newest partner feels comfortable. I typically just read through them and then kind of add in a few tidbits there. So my team feels like it's a duplicatable. Um, I do not charge for my salad in a jar parties. Everyone brings two ingredients, there are three jars. And then um, as hosts, we try to, you know, bring a few extra things if things are needed, um, but we don't charge people for those. Um, the only events that we charge for are our sourdough workshops, which are a lot of work. I didn't add that, but they are a lot, <laughs> they're a lot of work. If you're looking for an event to start with, don't start with those. <laughs> um, um, those slides are on boards. Um, you can go into the boards app and you can locate those. I know they're on the Campbell team. If any of you guys are on Campbell team, um, under resources and then go to resources, presentations, and then they're under juice plus presentations and they're considered inspiring, healthy living images updated. And so oops, probably not gonna be able to see this. I actually just save those to an album on my on my phone and then plug my phone into the TV. So I don't have all of them. I just have maybe a handful of them, the ones that you feel are most relative, um, but they're all on there. And there are some, several other great presentations in there as well. Awesome. Well, you're just a wealth of information, just like I promised everybody. <laughs> Thank you again so much for pouring into us. I know I know we're out of time now. Um, thank you all for the questions. Thank you, Alexis, for preparing for this. I know with your four kids, <laughs> you, you had a lot to do to get ready for this and just have this quiet time. So we appreciate you so much. Thank you. I will send you the recording. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.